Amazon sellers need powerful tools to stay competitive and improve their product rankings. In this video, you will learn how to use Data Dive's new niche compare feature and set up auto dive sessions to track and boost your keyword rankings. If you want to try Data Dive for yourself, you'll find a special 20% off deal offer coupon code in the description below. Tracking your organic ranking every two weeks is crucial for optimizing your Amazon sales strategy, as it provides timely insights into how well your efforts are converting into visibility and customer engagement. Regular monitoring allows you to quickly adjust your tactics to stay ahead of competitors and maximize your sales potential. So today, we are going to show you just how Data Dive Tools addresses these issues with the new feature such as Niche Compare to check how well your product has been performing organically on the selected keywords from your master keyword list. Hi, my name is Tiki and I'm from Orange Coolie. And today we're going to show you how Data Dive recently just added a new feature to make your optimization process more streamlined. Not only you are able to find those very relevant keywords that you considered as main drivers of sales to your products, Naturally, you would nurture these keywords by checking the performance of the keywords if you have indeed indexed for a particular keyword, ranked higher or lower than the previous niche dive or keyword research. You would plan your next steps based on the analysis of the changing trends in your organic rankings. If it's a positive trend, we check what efforts to add in our existing strategy to add more levels to your ranking, and much more so if it's a negative trend. To further examine if that keyword is indeed relevant to the product, then more efforts to include in a better part of the listing, such as bullet points, product description, up to the backend search terms, to get more indexed. And if not, then to drop the keyword or put it to the back burner for a while. You will see the new feature here in the master keyword list and you can toggle the niche compare. Now, this feature lets you compare easily your keyword research with the same competitor ASINs done the first time you did it versus to the other times you refreshed or updated the dive session. Depending on your threshold, if every few days, one week, two weeks or a month when you click update dive session. And did I mention that the robust data is exported from Jungle Scout, Keepa, Google Trends, and Amazon Seller Central? Yes, that is why Data Dive is one of the forefront Amazon seller tools out there that pulls out these relevant data to keep an accurate data decision making for your keyword research. Now let's look at how to interpret these database keywords on what we see from the niche compare. First, you can see the, the changes in sales depending on the duration you selected in between each dive. May it be from the last few minutes or it's better really for us industry standard speaking to do it between a week or two weeks to really see the difference if there is a change in data and you will be able to compare those. These metrics are important to check how well your product doing sales-wise when you introduce these relevant keywords to your listing. Let's say, for example, that this ASIN, the Guava Portable Crib, is our product. Then we can see that in between the last month of keyword research, that is four weeks ago, to today's niche dive, we can see that review count went up by 18. However, scrolling down to sales, we have a negative trend of 714. Keywords on page 1 also increased by 1. And review is down for 190,444. For the keywords on page 1 percentage, we are steady at 82%. Well, you can see that the rest of the competition has better number in terms of increase in trend, as you can see from the rest of the competition here. These metrics are important factors in analyzing what happened in the last four weeks and how these affected our sales and revenue, and in turn, our organic ranking. Looking at these comparative metrics, we can see that sales were affected, but not necessarily conclusive of the following factors. First, the review count went up by only 18, which indicates that the velocity of the sales for this product is quite slow and that customer reviews, especially the positive ones, will really boost your sales and ranking. So you can further check what was stated in the last few reviews 
within the duration of these niche dives and pinpoint if you can improve on delivery time, price change, or better price offerings to empower customer reviews. Another way is to also include more of your relevant keywords here in the master keyword list in the listing to get more chances to get indexed with the new keywords that are discovered ranking for our other competitors in the column type. The second metric that affected our sale is the percentage of keywords on page 1. As you can see here, we are steady still at 82%, which means that we have not reached many new relevant keywords or we have not ranked in the new relevant keywords on page 1. Either we got out of the page 1, so definitely it also negatively affected our organic rankings and relevancy. We must exert more efforts to get indexed and rank higher on these keywords to increase our relevancy to Amazon algorithm as well. These are the following biggest opportunities to integrate these new relevant keywords to your listing to get more chances of indexing. First, the product title. Second, key product features. Then the product description and the backend search terms. Reminder that stuffing these keywords won't do it. Your listing should still strike a balance between adding relevant packed keywords on your listing but engaging for human emotions. Amazon algorithm still favors this. Now to the granular level. In the search terms, you can see the change in search volume trend. Green means a good increase and red means, well, the opposite. There is a change in the demand of this search term in a specific time or that it died down with the season. Changes in relevancy trends also tells us that if it is on green, it means that this is being used more by your competitors to get closer or more visible to the right audience that needs the product. And the decrease in trend may mean two things. First, that it is out of the top 30 of keyword ranking. And second, that the search volume is waning down as well. There is not much demand from this keyword as opposed to four weeks ago. This helps you as well to determine in our next step or in your next step which keywords to include in your keyword rich customer focused listing content keyword bank. Looking at the first five search terms here, our product is doing well with ranking first on this set of keywords. With travel crib keyword, we managed to rank 24 steps higher from four weeks ago. So the green downward arrow here means that we rank 24 steps higher compared to four weeks ago. Because when you rank lower, top 1 to 13, being top 1, it's like you're going down, but then it's really you're ranking higher organically. So four weeks ago, we were ranking top 24 with this keyword and right now we are top 1. We won't be tweaking our listings with only minor decreases in trend, but we are looking those that are decreasing in three steps like this one. So we have the collapsible travel crib, which previously we were ranking top two, but now we are ranking top five. Then we have travel play yard, which previously we were ranking on the top 12 and now we're ranking top 20 and this one as well is more portable crib so this has 55 percent of relevancy and 685 search volume the search volume trend went down by 50 only but this is one of those examples that we have to add in the listing since it is very relevant as well as the toddler travel crib which we were ranking top 1 and now we are ranking top 5. And so on and so forth. Here we also can include the Spanish version as well as the travel crib for baby 6 to 12 months, which we were ranking top 3 in the last 4 weeks, but now we're ranking top 7. Collapsible baby crib, portable toddler crib, small pack and play for travel, toddler portable crib so we were ranking top six on this one in the last four weeks and but now we fall down from the top 10 and as well as baby crib portable so these are very important keywords to optimize to the listing in order to rank higher on them and we have selected other keywords that we have found here that are very relevant in the product and we added it 
here as well for optimization. So you can add the search volume as well here to track, um, tracking the search volume for now and just trying to see whether you are going to rank higher on these previously high ranking keywords but have fallen few steps lower. So moving on, we are going to check on the rest of the search terms here and see which of the keywords we would be adding to our keyword bank to add in our optimization process this time. And then we will see again in the next niche dive how did these keywords are performing the next keyword research. We also have added some of the new keywords that we previously didn't rank, which is just green and blank. And so we would like to bank on these keywords with high search volume and relevancy as well and try that to our listing optimization process. And again, schedule a niche dive in order to compare the trends and the performance from the previous keyword research. To conclude, we have to make sure that apart from enriching our product listings with better relevant keywords, we should also ensure that the following are in order to get the listing ready to ensure we have higher chances of ranking higher organically. To aid in continuous sales velocity, we have to manage inventory so that it supports the demand of the products. As if you ran out of stock during a very high demand time of your product, this will greatly affect the velocity of your sales. Thus will also affect your organic rankings. Second is to ensure to include only highly relevant and high volume keywords to your product listing to ensure visibility to the target audience and keep relevancy high in Amazon algorithm. Third is customer engagement. In terms of gathering those positive customer metrics such as click-through rate, higher conversion rate, and better customer reviews and it can greatly influence your organic ranking. Fourth is the positive customer service. We cannot stress enough that this contributes to your positive reviews if you are able to deliver excellent customer service, being able to provide swift responses and timely resolution of issues of customer issues will contribute to high customer reviews and organic ranking as well. Fifth is competitive pricing. It can also be one of the forefront factors to determine when customers are choosing for your product. This goes hand in hand with providing that your product provides more quality features by presenting excellent images, product description, and clear enhanced brand content. And lastly, the power of external traffic such as different social media platforms and influencer partnerships or marketing that can increase visibility and sales. Now that we have shown you this awesome feature from Datadive, you can do it manually or can set up auto dives in the monitoring part under the niche tracker. You can set up an auto dive and you have two options to set the auto dive with your regular competitors, which will be able to set an auto dive within a week, two weeks or four weeks. Or you can go ahead and try another niche dive, which will be monitoring one hero ASIN. And you will be able to either lock in your set of competitors right now, or you will be constantly changing the top competitors that you have selected. And you can set up the auto dives within a week, two weeks, or four weeks. So that's how Data Dive was able to create another feature that will make us swiftly analyze our keywords comparing from previous data and be able to make data-based decisions to be able to increase our organic rankings frequently and as timely as possible. So if you haven't tried Data Dive yet, don't miss the opportunity to add this valuable Amazon seller tool for your business today. Maximize your savings by using our coupon code that's orange click to get 20% off discount for monthly subscription plan. And let us know in the comments if you have found our content helpful by typing awesome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Orange Click channel to stay up to date to the latest data dive features and other helpful Amazon seller insider tips in the future. Again, this is Nikki from Orange Click. Thanks for watching. I hope this video will help you to improve your Amazon product rankings using Data Dive's new features. If you want to try Data Dive, use the coupon code ORANGECLICK to get 20% off your two months monthly subscription. So you'll find the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to our channel, and if you have additional questions and comments, leave them in the section for comments below.
And now I recommend you to watch more tutorials for different data dive features in this playlist. So enjoy.